Well, you'd never know the history of this Homewood building once held, if it weren't for the sign out front. Pittsburgh is home to the nation's first black opera house. It was known to house some of the greats like Lena Horne. And now there's a push to restore it. In tonight's WPXI Pittsburgh Gets Real, Aaron Martin talks to some determined folks about what it's going to take to make that happen. If you're driving on Apple Street here in Homewood, you may not even notice the plaque on the side of the road honoring an important piece of black history. In fact, it's been in place for nearly 80 years, and now there's a renewed push to not only restore it, but to remember it properly. Any given day, you would hear opera on the third floor. Joe Lewis would be in the house. Lena Horne would be here. And Ahmad Jamal would be here taking lessons. The names are legendary, yet the place where so many of them stayed and performed in Homewood is somewhat forgotten. It's mind boggling um, that people don't know that this history is here. It looks absolutely incredible. Two decades ago, Janae Solomon was one of those people until she saw a previous version of this plaque honoring the National Negro Opera House. In 1941, Mary Caldwell Dawson, who is seen on the left, created the first black opera house nationwide. After asking several people, you know, do you know about this house on Apple Street? No one knew about it. And so I, I thought, you know, I'll buy the house. And a friend of mine said, well, if you buy the house, I'll buy it with you. Solomon and her friend Miriam White were hoping to get it restored quickly, but they found it difficult to get enough interest and money to make it happen. The house is structurally unsafe in need of thousands, if not millions of dollars in repairs to return it to its past glory. Now that help may be closer than it's been in decades. The goal is not just to have it restored. The goal is to make it sustainable to go into the future, and it needs to be of service to its community. Matthew Craig is the executive director of the Young Preservationist Association, one of several groups that spent years working to get the Opera House recognized and restored. In late September, the first step in that journey became a reality when the National Trust added the Opera House to its list of America's 11 most endangered historic places. Once it gets onto that list, it's validated as an important historic asset. Now they must raise the money to get the Opera House structurally sound again. I'm excited to hear that, and I can't say I'm overly uh, optimistic because I have heard that before. Rashad Birdsong has spent the last 30 years helping young people and families in Homewood, and for nearly as long he's heard about plans to fix the Opera House on Apple Street. If this time is different, he hopes its restoration will be part of larger urban renewal for the neighborhood. It was more than just uh, the renovation uh, of the house, but we have to become a culture destination, and we got to be able to still have the history of black people in this city. It's been a long and at times frustrating journey for Solomon owning this piece of history. The Opera House was all about giving black musicians an opportunity. Now Solomon hopes her community will soon have the opportunity to honor that history properly. That's what Mary Codwell Dawson fought for, for access for people to be able to sing opera um, anywhere in the world that they wanted to sing. And it does not matter the color of your skin. She provided that access to them. Solomon says the first step is making sure the house is structurally sound and from there they'll decide the best way to commemorate it. If you're interested in helping restoring the Opera House, we put more information on our website, WPXI.com. Reporting in Homewood, Aaron Martin, Channel 11 News. Boy, it was a beautiful building. I know, so covered in vines you can barely see it anymore, but thank goodness it's a hidden treasure yeah, that'll indeed. get new life. You can find more stories in our WPXI Gets Real series on our website, WPXI.com.